Hey, how's it going, guys? We are back for another episode of The Final Whistle, and today we are going to be talking about Bernardo Silva rumored to leave Manchester City this summer, and I'm going to talk about the two possible moves I think could happen, and it's both to La Liga. But guys, before we jump into things, hit that sub button. I'm really loving the support, and hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the video. We're going to jump straight into things. Bernardo Silva is rumored to leave Manchester City this summer, talked that he wants to go, he wants a new challenge, and he wants to leave. This is not a quiet rumor. I've seen this on quite a bit of places, the BBC rumors, uh, Telegraph, everywhere. This this is quite heavily linked. And I've seen two clubs in firm, and they're both La Liga giants, Atletico Madrid and FC Barcelona. Atletico Madrid have been rumored to offer to already Sal Niguez, as a Manchester United fan, I'd love Sal Niguez at Manchester United, but I could easily see him going to Manchester City too. His other Atletico Madrid counterpart there, Rodri, who is already at Manchester City from last year, the 50 million signing, who has revolutionized their midfield and defensive midfield. And their midfield is quite light. You're going to be seeing Fernandinho leave and Sal Niguez with Gundogan de Bruyne. I think it'd be fantastic to see Rodri, uh, Sal Niguez link up again with I don't know where Gundogan's going to play. Probably coming off the bench now if you're bringing the Sal Niguez. And then you have Kevin De Bruyne up top above them, which would be unbelievable for a midfield three for Manchester City. Do I think this is really concrete? I really do. I think Manchester City and Atletico Madrid have a decent relationship. I could see it happening. I feel like Bernardo Silva at Manchester City would be a perfect fit. Bernardo Silva could play in that 4-4-2 quite easily like he did at AS Monaco. You'd have... Uh, Joao Felix, you'd have Luis Suarez up top, and then you'd have Bernardo Silva on your right. Or you can always move Bernardo Silva to attacking midfielder. Seen him quite a bit this year for Manchester City, and also playing there when Kevin De Bruyne has been injured. But he is very good at right mid, we saw many times, and right wing. He'd play either side down that flank. He's very versatile in attacking positions, which is great to see. We've also seen him deployed at left wing. Very, very little. We haven't seen that too often, but he has played there. Right wing and right mid is his more prominent position or preferred position. And I could see him easily suiting in there. And then you would have the likes of Marcus Loriente and in the middle. And look at the other side, you have Thomas Lamar. That front four of Lamar with Bernardo Silva on the right. And you have Joao Felix and Luis Suarez would be unbelievable to watch. And so fun going forward. Because Bernardo Silva attacking is so cool to watch. And he's brilliant. I think he's not talked about as much as he should be. I think when he signed from AS Monaco, so much hype. And in the past couple of years, it's just gone slower and slower down the, the trend after De Bruyne picked up steam, uh, the likes of Sterling, who's died down. This year, I think Bernardo Silva hasn't got the praise that he's deserved. With Aguero being injured for so long, De Bruyne being injured for so many stints, not having a recognizable striker, he's been fantastic. Do I think this will be a big loss for Manchester City? It'll be a decent-sized loss, but you're getting Sal Liguez. It's a great pickup. You already have many, many right-sided players. Riyad Mahrez, uh, Sterling can play on either wing, and you still have Fernand Torres, and I'd love to see Fernand Torres start to play for Manchester City. We saw him play fantastic for Spain, in my opinion. Yes, Spain didn't win, but Fernand Torres was at the heart of most of the chances created, and he played very well. And he's still a young, young player with much to show and a lot of talent to give. But guys, that'd be a great move for Bernardo Silva, and that is the first team, Atletico Madrid. But I want to talk about the other team I've seen rumored in the past couple days. And that is Barcelona. I haven't seen them offering players yet. But it is talked about a swap deal. Which I do find very interesting. Because Barcelona doesn't have a lot to give. They want to get rid of quite a bit of players. I don't know who they want to get rid of to tempt Manchester City for um, the likes of Bernardo Silva. I've seen Sergio Roberto talked about a little bit here and there. I think that would probably be your most likely, but I don't think they need another fullback. You got like Zinchenko, Benjamin Mendy, Joao Cancelo, so many different fullback options. Kyle Walker, but I've also seen them uh, rumored to bring in the other Portuguese player, Joao Cancelo. So I'm not sure how Barcelona are tempted to get, or how they think they're going to be able to swap for Joao Cancelo or Bernardo Silva. But I'll, but Bernardo Silva, I think is a very talented player and to only do him for a swap deal I think Barcelona have to give them quite a decent player maybe Ousmane Dembele I don't think he'd start for Manchester City I don't know who they attempt uh, Manchester City with Manchester City are such an elite club of elite talent 
and such a depth and pool of players to pick from. Barcelona really have to give them someone unbelievable for me to actually get Manchester City thinking here. I don't think Sergio Roberto is going to cut it to get Bernardo Silva, maybe to get Joao Cancelo with some money, but Sergio Roberto doesn't even come close to price tag for Bernardo Silva. You'd have to offer some money with it. So I think it's very interesting to see. I've seen Barcelona heavily quite a couple days, and Atletico Madrid have been talking about giving Sal Niguez, which is more realistic for me, and I see him joining Joao Cancelo and some, uh, Joao Felix, my bad guys, in Atletico more so than I do seeing in Barcelona, because for me, Barcelona is just a weirder one. I just don't see what they give up for him. But it's it's interesting to see two La Liga sides in for him, and I'd love to see him end up in La Liga because I think he's a fantastic player, and I want to see him playing week in and week out for a top club in Spain. But for me, guys, I think he's going to land at Atletico Madrid. If you guys make it this far in the video, let me know what you guys think. Where where do you guys think he's going to land? Do you think he's going to Barcelona, Atletico Madrid? Do you think there's going to be a wild card team come out of nowhere and sign him? Where would you like to see him go? And how much do you think it would cost to get him? Or do you think it's going to be a swap deal, guys? Let me know what you guys think. Hit the sub button. Hit that like button. And drop the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. And I love the subs and the support we are getting on the video, guys. Keep it up. And I'll see you guys for another one very soon. Peace.